Hi everyone. It's uh, it's Costas from Blue Dot ROV. Uh, so today I'm gonna walk you through how to charge one of your LiPo batteries. Uh, so to do this, you're gonna need your battery, uh, and then all, all these these three or four items, including the power line. Um, these come in. Uh, th these are all parts of the Keenstone C1 XR. Uh, I don't know what the letters stand for, but it's a pretty nice balance charger. You, you can get them on our website, um, and they're, I really like them. Uh, I like them a lot more than any other balance charger I've used, and this is what I use to uh, take care of the batteries on uh, all of uh, all of our ROVs. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to do to set this up is you want to take the power line and uh, plug it in. So it should turn on. Please? Yeah, there, okay, cool. Uh, so, okay, now it's on. Uh, it, it'll give you a bunch of uh, options uh, of like programs to select, hence program select. And, and it's already set to LiPo battery, but I, I'm gonna just cycle through some of them with the stop looking button uh, and see the other options. You have like nickel metal hydride batteries, NICAD, Lots of settings, but our ROVs use uh, lithium polymers, LiPo batteries, uh, so we're going to go with the LiPo battery setting. And to do that, I'll hit the button with a triangle icon. Alright, so you're going to see a bunch of parameters, and you're basically going to want to make sure all of them match those of your battery. As an example, let's look at where it says 3S in the upper right hand corner. That's going to be that, that's going to tell you how many cells your battery has and uh, what type. So let's say it comes up as like 4S. I, I don't think it came default with, with 3S as the default for LiPo, but you can plus to increase the cells uh, or minus to decrease. So if you start at like 5 cells uh, you, and you wanted to charge this battery, which is uh, 3S, uh, you would use minus to go down to four. And a uh, pretty similar thing with the amp hours. If it was at like 2,500, you'd go down to 2,200. So you're basically just trying to make the settings on your screen match the specs on your battery. Now that all the settings match, uh, match up with our battery, <clears throat> uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, charge it. So first thing uh, I like to do is I take the uh, balance socket and um, plug it in to here where it says balance socket. And that takes a little bit of finessing, but yeah, you hear a click eventually, and uh, now it's in. So uh, next you plug in the battery's balance leads uh, into the socket that matches them. So this is gonna be, this is a 3S battery, so you want to plug it into the balance socket that matches the battery, and that right there says 3S, so we know it's that one. Okay, next we're going to plug in the main battery leads. These are these really long ones uh, that your charger comes with the, with the two banana plugs. They look kind of like gold bananas. Uh, but you're going to plug these into their corresponding colors. Red goes into red, black goes into black. And, and here it's going to say, I don't know if you can read that, should say output. Uh, okay, so now the, the main power leads are plugged into output. And this battery, we use the ones, well, we use LiPos with, um, with T plugs. So you're going to want to look for the T plug here. You have a pretty good assortment of them. You can charge lots of batteries with this thing. Um, but here's a T plug. This is the one we want. And it comes with a nice little lid. I really like it. Uh, Okay, so lid's off, then we plug it in. Okay, and nothing should happen. Okay, now we're ready to charge. So we have a 3S battery, and it's uh, 220 milliamps. So that's, that's good, we're good to go. So to charge it, we look for the play button, uh, and then we hold it down. Then you hear some beeping, and now it's charging it. Yeah, you can hear the little fan whirring. Uh, but yeah, this will, uh, it, it gives you the current voltage on your battery, uh, and it tells you uh, how much, kind of how much uh, 
how many amps if you integrate it over time uh, it's putting into here so uh, oh I'm sorry amp hours integrated over time so yeah that's that's how to charge it uh, just let it run um, keep an eye on it if you can <laughs> Uh, I don't like to leave lipos unattended when they're charging, but yeah, it'll uh, it'll turn off by itself, and uh, it'll make this a similar beeping sound, and uh, you'll be you'll be good to go. Uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.